Hi there, my name is Herman. In this video, I will briefly introduce our work on multi-track music generation. This is a joint work with Ke Chen, Shlomo Dopnov, Julia McCauley, and Taylor Burke-Patrick at UC San Diego. In a high-level overview, we aim to generate orchestral music that supports, uh, supports a diverse set of instruments by using a new compact representation and a multi-dimensional transformer model. Now, before jumping into the details, let's listen to one of the best samples generated by our proposed multi-thread music transformer model. So, in the past few years, prior work has proposed many transformer-based music generation systems. As shown in this table, our proposed multi thread music transformer is the only system that supports multi thread music, offers explicit controls on the instruments, uses compound tokens, and is designed for generative modeling. Now, let's dig into our proposed system. In this work, we represent a music piece as a sequence of events, and each of these events is encoded as a tuple of six variables which represents type, beat, position, pitch, duration, and instrument. There are five event types. Three of them are structural types, which marks the start of song, the start of node event list, and the end of the song. And there are two types of data events, instrument events and node events. These data events are specified by the other five fields. Here's an example of a song encoded by our proposed representation. First, we have the structural events. Between the start of song and start of notes events, we have a list of instrument events, which specifies all the instruments used in this song. After the start of notes event, we have a list of notes events, which encode the music itself. Now, with the proposed representation, the model itself is basically a decoder-only transformer model with multi-dimensional inputs and outputs. That is, at each time step, the transformer is trained to predict an event with six fields at the same time. Like a typical transformer model, the model is trained autoregressively. Moreover, at inference time, we assign zero probabilities to illegal values in the sampling function so that the generated representation is always valid. Now, one great benefit of the proposed model is that we can achieve three different tasks with our retraining the model. First, we have unconditional generation, where we only provide a start of song event as input. Second, for instrument informed generation, we provide a list of instruments and start from the start of node event. Third, we can also do end beat continuation, where we provide the list of instruments and the notes in the first end beats of the music. So the model will continue the song. On top of that, uh, I want to emphasize again that we only need to train one single model to achieve all these tasks. Here are details of our data, model, and training. I just want to highlight one thing here. We use the symbolic orchestral database, which contains 357 hours of orchestral music. Now, demo time. First, we have an example for unconditional generation. Next, we have an example for instrument informed generation where we ask the model to generate music for the following instrumentation. Finally, we have an example for four beat uh, continuation where we provide the first four beats of the music to the model and ask it to continue the music. Did you recognize the original song? It's Mozart's famous serenade.
It's pretty cool to see how the model turns it into a more oriental flavor. And more audio examples can be found at this link at the right. Next, to evaluate our proposed system, we conduct a subjective listening test to compare the MMT representation against two existing representations. We can see that MMT outperforms the triple M representation while underperforms the Remy plus representation. However, we should also note that our MMT model can produce 3.5 times longer samples within the same sequence length and offers a 3.3 times faster inference speed compared to the Remy plus model. So here we can clearly see the trade-off between inference speed and the output quality. Finally, we conduct a systematic analysis on musical self-attention. We propose a new quantity as defined here. Intuitively, it computes the ratio of attention weights assigned to events that has a field value of difference k over the sum of all attention weights. For example, for the pitch field, these two attention weights will be accumulated into gamma minus x since their pitch difference is minus eight. On the other hand, these two attention weights will be accumulated into gamma minus five. However, we notice that this quantity is biased towards difference that occurred more frequently. Hence, we also propose the mean relative attention gain, which is defined as the mean relative attention minus the frequency of a difference k to appear. Intuitively, this quantity measures how much more attention weights are assigned by the model than assuming a uniform attention matrix. With this quantity, we find out that our MMT model attends more to nodes that are fallen beats away in the past, that have the same position as the current node, that has a pitch which forms a consonant interval in an octave above. In short, MMT does learn a relative self-attention for certain aspects of music. To sum up, we proposed an efficient representation and model for multi-train music generation. Moreover, we presented the first systematic analysis of musical self-attention. We thank Jayan and Family Foundation, Taiwan Ministry of Education, and European Research Council for funding this work. Thank you. Please check out our paper, demo, and code in the links below.